What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at lead code problem number 1741, find total time spent by each employee. This one's marked as easy and often asked by Amazon. So let's get straight into it. So we only have one table in here called employees containing an employee ID, just called EMP ID, event day, in time and out time. And basically that gives you information of when employees showed up to the office and when they entered and exited that office with a given timestamp in in time and out time. In time is always lower as out time and they are decoded as minutes from 1 to 1440 for each minute in the day. It's guaranteed that no two events on the same day intersect in time. So in time is always smaller than out time and they can't be exactly the same I guess. Our task is to write an SQL query to calculate the total time in minutes spent by each employee on each day at the office. Note that within one day an employee can enter and leave more than once, so they can have multiple breaks. The time spent in the office for a single entry is out time minus in time. We should return the result table in any order and it should look something like this. We have a given day, a given employee and the total time spent in the office. Given day, another employee, total time spent in the office, and then a few more dates. So let's get into coming up with a solution for that. Let's just take a look at the output we're supposed to produce. We have day, employee ID, and total time. So let's start off by selecting event day as day. It should be called day. Event day is the only date field in our input table, so that is probably what we were supposed to use here and then EMP ID is already in there called employee ID and now it's about calculating the total time and as we learned the time spent in the office for a single entry is out time minus in time so if we put that calculation here let's see what that gives us um, let's just call it as total time and we're selecting that from employees since that's the only table we have. So that will give us an event day or just day as we're calling it now, employee ID and minutes they spend in the office. So employee 1 came into the office for 28 minutes on November 28th, 2020, then came in again on the same day for 145 minutes and that's been it for that day. Then there was another visit on 3rd of December for 41 minutes by employee 1 and we have some more data for employee ID 2. So we should have values of 173 in here for 28th of November, so we need to sum up these first two values. So we're using the sum function here on that calculation because technically that just should just give us the sum of these two fields, right? And that way we're going to be able to calculate employees entire time in the office. Now that would give us their entire uh, time in the office over all days we have in here. But we want that per day and then also per employee ID. So we need to group by to tell our sum functions to do that per event day and per employee ID. So we're going to group by day and EMP ID and if we run that, that should already be accepted. So we have that sum group by day and employee ID and that's already all we need. We don't need to order that in any way. So let's just submit that, see if it's accepted. It is, and that's already been it for that problem. Yeah, um, you just need to read the problem carefully and it should tell you to use out time minus in time and then just make that connection to your sum and also group by what you want to group by. It's basically already stated in the question as well. Anyways, that's been it for this problem. It has been marked as easy. If you want to do more easy problems, make sure to check out my lead code database problems easy place on YouTube or move on to Medium 
or hard, it's very easy to choose which kind of difficulty we want to study for and choose one of the videos I made on them. And apart from that, it's always a good idea to subscribe to get more of these videos in your recommended or sub feed when new ones come out. That's been it for me today. See you all next time.